JC here from Vagabond Vlogs and today I'm in London with Maria that you might recognize from a couple of shoots that we did in Tulum right and Playa and we also Playa, shot, yes. but those photos aren't edited yet <laughs> which park are we in uh, Green Park Green Park London London downtown yeah. so I was in London five six years ago and uh, the first night I arrived into the Fabric nightclub and I never left. Uh, <laughs> well, I left because I'm not there right now, but um, my whole experience was just partying back then. Um, and now I came back to visit Maria and um, we're gonna do a shooting today. So the idea was a little picnic shoot with some fruit, with some wine, rosé wine, Dino vino. <laughs> and, uh, that's what we're gonna do. So we have Maria in her natural habitat of chilling, eating <laughs> and consuming social media. <laughs> it was off camera but she burped really loud. Lying, <laughs> lying. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start the shoot with a little sip of wine, I think. Best wine ever. Mm. It's not bad, <laughs> it's not bad. It's maybe not the best ever, but it's not bad. Contrary to most of my photos, this time we're going to focus on the upper body. Because <laughs> I get a lot of complaints from uh, girls with uh, nice boobs that write me, why don't you show more boobs on your profile? It's literally girls that are complaining, so that's pretty funny. So I was thinking of like showing one boob but covering it off with uh, the wine or with some fruit and maybe make a, a cleavage full of berries. A strawberry mm. necklace. A strawberry necklace. Sounds very porny, but <laughs> that's uh, what we're gonna try. It's good. We came here after a long day and never stopped and always waiting to be dead in the blue heart of this place where we share our fragile. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> we need to censor that. Irina. Don't forget to censor that. We can, we can leave it in, but uh, put like a nice little sticker there or something, you know, some emoji. What's your favorite emoji? The poop. The poop? Yes, that's my favorite. Oh, come one. on, we're not going to put a poop Please. there. Okay, Irina, put a little poop emoji <laughs> on the nipple. Thank you, girl. Yeah, for people who have no idea who Irina is, she's uh, my editor from Kiev. Okay, we're going to screw screw out of here because uh, it's getting pretty dark. And uh, it's like this point during a photo shoot where pretty much everybody in your surroundings are up to what you've been doing. And uh, you know, we don't want to get in trouble with the popo. <laughs> so we're gonna screw it away. Queen. We got Chinatown! So Maria, you told me that these were the best dumplings you could ever in the find world. in the world. The best Chinese dumplings in the world. Yes. They're dim sum. Alright. We're ready? I'm ready. What's the best one from the best? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think the brown ones are good. These are? Okay. It's probably very hot there. Yeah? It looks pretty hot. It's pretty good. Cheese in town. In Britain. In mm. the world, maybe. Mm. Who knows? Alright, my turn. Cheese gasm. Pretty, pretty fucking good cheese sandwich. As you can 
Jesse, I'm back in my crib in Belgium. It was a very short but quite interesting three days in London. In that time I was able to kind of visit a lot of the cool districts or regions. I'm not sure how exactly they're called in London. So the first day I went to South Bank, this area around the station and that pretty much it. Yeah, I arrived pretty late. And then the next day was Chinatown, Soho, and then the last day went to Camden Town. Uh, second day also Piccadilly Circus. So quite a lot of areas that I was able to observe and experience. I was very lucky that Maria is a foodie, I would say. Uh, so she was taking me to all of the like best places known for these specific dishes. Uh, so I had a really, really amazing foodie experience. So I would say that London truly is a foodie paradise if you know where to go. And secondly, a thing I really noticed that I've never noticed in any city before was that every district has such a unique and different atmosphere and style that it's it really feels like a different town. So, for example, the Soho Piccadilly Circus area was for me maybe a little bit too clean in a way. So it's pretty cool, everybody's dressed up and it's more like a fancy neighborhood. Um, but then if I compare that the next day to Camden Town, you get like this more of a street feeling, like small shops on the street, more like a marketplace feel, um, but like a cool version of it, not like the grandmother version of it. And all of these little food trucks and the people were just dressed completely different, you know, like they, I would even say that they acted different, you know, it was, it just had more of a little bit of a rough, edgy street feel, just like a little bit more dangerous in the feeling, which I kind of like, especially when I'm traveling, because it kind of keeps you on edge, you know, you're awake, you're aware, and I never experienced it anywhere else, so that's pretty nice that London has that, you know, you have one city, but districts are so different, I mean, you could literally, I don't know, experience a different life just by moving across town, so yeah, pretty nice. I did see a lot of amazing shops, and I did not have time to go shopping, so I'm pretty sure one of the next times I'll go there for a shopping weekend, and of course, another party weekend because after this whole you know what is over I would like to experience a nightlife there um, I did see a lot of places potential places so I gotta go back I have to say London did convince me a little bit but my heart is still in Ukraine so I'm going there very soon in less than a week and that's pretty much it for this video. Let me know if you like a little bit more of this uh, tour, real vlog experience, where you see a little bit more of what's happening next to the shootings. Um, so yeah, let me know. And please subscribe and like this video so I can keep making these. I hope you guys liked it. See you guys later. JC out. Screw, screw, screw.